da, da. got my new box from PSA. If you don't know what PSA is, it's the Palmetto State Armory. It's where I find my gun stuff from. Let's see what we got in here real quick. I know it's in here, but I'm gonna show you guys real quick. It's supposed to stay open already. They always do a fantastic job of cooking shit. Need oh, free stickers. I love free stickers. Um, I bought some stuff one time from a, a company for a drum for my AR. I there's some gummies in there. There's some candy. All right, these are on sale. So we got two new uh, magazines, 30 round mags. Yeah, we're gonna have fun with those later. And these are on sale for like $2 a box. So it's a uh, 12 gauge or 4 to 12 gauge, but it should be, yep, there it is, double O buck. And I think there's five in there. Yeah, five rounds. So I bought two of them because one of them I'm just gonna kinda keep as, you know, in case someone wants to play around, you know, they got some double lock shot coming their way. But one, I'm actually uh, use all five of them and probably just play around with target, just see what kind of damage you do. Yeah, this one sell. Ambidextrous charging handle. Timber Creek. Pretty cool. It was on sale pretty cheap, so I wanted to get it. The one I got is just a regular size one. And it's got like a little American flag engraved, which is pretty cool to me. And look at that, made in USA, nice. But this is the ambidextrous one. It's a little bit bigger, a little larger for your hands. I'm gonna try it out real quick. Go grab the AR. That's the drum I was telling you about. Uh, Magpul, obviously, but I can't remember the, the company I bought it from. Uh, they gave me the free gummies. This is pretty cool. I've only used it once, just playing around with it. Uh, well, I guess I'll take it out, hang on. There you go, it's just a simple drum. Uh, but the reason I took it out is I wanna show you something. It does have a dust cover up there, which is nice, um, but it is a pain to load up. Because you pretty much have to turn this lever here, this really strong spring in there, and push down the next round. Once you start getting so many in there, uh, it, it's near impossible to just push straight down. So they give you just like a tension release lever here. And you have to do that for every single round. So it gets kind of an aggravation to load up. But I'm, I'm more of a spot it because it was like a stupid good price. And I just wanted one. And uh, it's more or less a shit hits the fan kind of situation it's not something that's just used regularly unless you just feel like loading it up regularly which i've only shot it once like i said i just want to try it out make sure it didn't jam it works pretty cool i like it all right back to another part all right there's my ar bag it's supposed to be able to hold two uh but i only put one in there and i'll show you why it's uh got you know all the stuff like that for the grid pattern and stuff i got spare mags tool kits things like that in there i even keep some spare ammo in there um i haven't shot it in a while but I just want to show you the bag real quick and I'll show you why I don't want to put two in there. So once you open it, you can immediately see where one firearm is supposed to go under these Velcro straps and you can stick the, the stock in the little corners. This is the only thing protecting and separating the two and it's as padded, sure. And I guess technically, as long as it stays Velcroed and strapped down secure, it won't do any damage, but I was concerned that when you start putting fancier scopes on, this is just a cheap red or that's just a green dot. It's part of the uh, Romeo and Juliet package. I don't have the magnifier, but this is a green dot, not a red dot. And I was concerned if I started, I'm eventually going to rifle scope. I didn't want to add another one on top and I could put where the top's up here. So the other scope would come down on this side, but that's just, that's just not a whole lot of padding to me. And I just didn't like it. I would rather buy a separate bag for each one. Uh, my gun, not special. It's, you know, it's plain Jane. Nice little strap on it. I like it. But, okay, so, charging handle. Let's go grab that. See, that's what I was talking about, how small it is. It's just a standard sized one, but it has, you know, the American flag engraved on it. So, what we're going to do is just take it apart. If you don't know how to do it, it's pretty simple. Uh, you got two pins to push down and bring and uh, breaks it in half. Uh, one there. When there on the other side, you push them through and you actually separate the lower from the upper. And then here, once you do that, you'll have the, the bolt carrier group with the charger handle on top and you'll be able to remove them together. And then that right there just comes right out. Um, like I told you, if you're curious, it's just a radical firearm, 5.56, five, adjustable stock, but you know, textured grip, standard stuff. All right, let's go pull that thing in half. All right, normally I break it half completely when I clean it and things, but you don't really have to since you're just changing this. Pretty much just pull it out as a unit. There's your PCG, break that down and clean it if you want to. And there's the charging handle. So to 
put a new one in, you just do the same thing. You pretty much stack them together. There's a hook in there. You can see it goes up. Then you can put your BCG back in there and slot it in together as a unit. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the new one, compare them, reassemble it. So there's the new one on the right. As you see, it's much larger and it's ambidextrous. So that means instead of this one, only one side releases it. This one should be no matter what. They work together in sync and harmony. So if you're right-handed, left-handed, don't matter. If you just like a bigger one, you know, it's easier to chamber it. So as I said, this one pretty much is just going to find that little groove somewhere in there and then they'll slide together put the pcg on and they'll slide together i'm gonna do that real quick and there we have it so we took the old one out put the new one in and it actually chambered successfully multiple times it fits it's large the only thing i can tell you is if you had uh backup sights might be a little odd and awkward or if you had a, a bigger scope that was further back you know, depending on how big your hands are or how big the gloves you're wearing, that might be an issue. But since I just have the one scope or the dot up there now with no magnifier, it's not a problem. But you see, I got the whole top rail. So you just move it and recite it. Overall, I like it. Looks like I got some scuff there, but it's okay. It's a gun. It's a firearm. I use it. There we go. Oh, and I'll put this up there. Yeah, just your basic dust cover modification. Nothing special to it. Uh, let's see, to do that, there's a ring on right there. That little clip there, pull that off, and then this whole thing will slide out. But watch that spring. It's got to go up there a certain way. See the little feet there, one there and one there? It's got to go up there a certain way where it stays sprung. Steps in place as soon as you pull the bolt carrier back or the charging handle back. Let's see here. See, it flips open. And that way, as it ejects the shells, it's out of the way. That's it. I enjoy it. Like I said, I got it on sale from PSA. Go buy you one.